How does a brash, belligerent, son of an immigrant and mogul, draft dodging TV show presidential hopeful, go from trash talking sexual assaulter straight to the highest public altar? A million doubt from his father without a bother would have inflated farther if he was a lot smarter, if he worked a lot harder or hustled like Sean Carter, but instead, He'd rather the water at mar a -Lago. And some of us slept through the fuss, waiting for one to come and save us. But this exigent president brought our guard up. And suddenly, a longing for something to be a part of. The nation was ready for party 2020 to start up. Then the midterms came, and people power reigned. Voters pressing and checking for new faces and names. Elected women and immigrants, unashamed and untamed, and sent leaders to build bridges and make America sane again. But here in St. Paul, some say this is insane, man. We got a brown-eyed mayor now, and everything is changing. He won't pay for the fireworks. He jumped out of a plane. This city's never going to be the same. What's your name, man? Mayor Melvin Carter. I'm St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter. And there's a million things we haven't even started yet. But just you wait. See, some people think of government as full of it, bedridden. That's why my team and I stay aggressive and driven. Last year, we put a freeze on library late fees, and we want to end bail so people get out of jail free. <laughs> Moving with a plan to examine our city prudently, co-governing with community and public scrutiny, we got to work together to better our public health. That's why we're rewriting and citing every policy on the shelf. And every time I think about it, it makes me want to holler. We're investing lots of dollars in our son and daughter scholars, helping families reach to achieve financial power, and we raise the minimum wage to 15 an hour. We're scanning for every advantage to give our children, advancing a people-powered approach to city building. We're climbing to the top like the NPR raccoon. In St. Paul, we are all shooting for the moon. Every child born in our city shooting for the moon. Every business, every family shooting for the moon. There's a pathway to prosperity for all of us here in the North Star City. Just you wait. There's no one among us, not one, who could accomplish all this on their own. But you never back down, so I never fight alone. I'm grateful for that. But you know what? We have so much more work in front of us. There's no time for us to fuss or gloat. We've got to stand and be counted in the census. We've got to show up and cast every single vote. We cannot afford to leave our world unchanged. Listen, in conclusion, you helped me write the budget and named our cabinet. We went all in to help families pay the rent. We're working as a team to meet this moment with the movement. See, we are the ones that we have been waiting for. We're being the change we want to see on this planet. And me, I'm just the name on the ballot. There's a million things we haven't even started yet, but just you wait. Thank you. I'm St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter, and I approve this message.